So hello and welcome back to another episode of Wreck This Journal. The page I'm going to do today is collect fruit stickers here. Stickers you find on bought fruit. And this is also page 35. And the reason why I'm doing this page today is because I actually have fruit. You see, I don't really go out and buy fruit, let alone food at all. And over the weekend, I was able to actually acquire some fruit, and they happen to have stickers on them. So I'm going to peel them off and stick them on this page. So let's get into it. The first fruit that I have is an apple with the label, with the label, with the label, Eve from Nelson. Yeah, from Nelson. So let's peel this one off and stick it on. Boom. And the second fruit sticker that I have is from an orange. Riverland, quality citrus, Gisborne, New Zealand. Sticking on, bam. So since I have two stickers on this page, and I'm also very unlikely to buy any more fruit with stickers on them, I would say that this task is pretty much completed. So there's another page that I'm going to do today, and that is on page 81. And that is write or draw with your left hand. Now I know I've complained about this before, but this book does ask you a lot of the time to draw. And if you remember from my episode where I'm doodling all over the book on the edges and the cover, um, you will know that I said that I have run out of stuff to draw and that my creativity is very, is really starting to lack. So this is going to be hard. And this is also going to be quite difficult because the book itself is only holding together by one shred of paper on the spine. Right there, and you might have heard it rip. See, it's ripping. I'm probably gonna have to sellotape it back together soon, Ugh, or I'm just, or I might just leave it in two parts. I don't know. You let me know. Should I keep it in two parts since it's wrecked, or should I attempt to stick it together with tape or something? I've got a roll of masking tape just sitting down there, about two meters away. So, let me know in the comment section below. Anyway, yeah, so write or draw with your left hand. But if you watch my videos, you will know that I am a left-handed person. I write with my left hand, I play pool with my left hand, and I use chopsticks with my left hand. So I am going to do this with my right hand. And the first thing I'm going to do is scribble out the word where it says left and write right with my right hand. And it's even going to be harder because I'm going to be holding, up, holding it up like this to the camera. And I'm just going to slightly zoom in a little bit. Okay. Is that showing? Oh, that's good enough. Ah, I'm still using my left hand. Oh gosh, okay. Uh, uh, okay, this is hard. Right hand. Right hand. This feels so weird. Right. Yeah, right hand. So what should I draw? I'll write a sentence. Hello. My name is Rich and it looks like a B. It's an H. H. Oh, full stop. Uh, also right, don't forget to like this video. And I'll also draw a little thumbs up. How does someone draw a thumbs up? And and that's a thumbs up. So don't forget to like this video if you did. Hopefully, yay. Hello, my name is Richmond. Yeah, don't forget to like the video. And this is how I write with my right hand. And um, it's very awesome if you can't tell. So I'll say that this task has been completed. So that's going to be it for this episode of Rick, this journal. So yeah, 